Yeah, I, I think the Eden Hazard one, you know, from the outside, I wasn't here at the time, but it seemed like something that was really uh, important to Eden personally, and I think the club respected that. Uh, the fans respected that. He left on, on a very good note, and I think I certainly, as a, a Chelsea fan, and play with him and watch him from afar, felt that he gave this club and uh, such pleasure and, and such great times individually in his input that um, we are thankful that he was here. Uh, it's not one to dwell on now. He's gone. Uh, we wish him well in his career. He's a, he's a great person as well as a great player and we wish him well. Um, and now what's important is what we do, is how we uh, take the club forward. So you lose one great player, of course, but then how do you get around that? You work on the team and you look around at what you have. And what we do have is already a very strong squad. And we've got young players in a, a really good age that have not just potential, some of them already showed it in the first team, but have uh, the talent to, I won't say Phil Eden has our boots, that's not the question here, he's, he's very unique, but we have players that in their own way um, can really be huge players for this club. Some that already are huge players and some that can get even better. And part of my job now will be to get, try and get that out of them and to develop the young, great young players that we have here. The word realist and realism keeps coming up and um, I, I am a realist and the, the last thing I want to do is ask for any favours going into something. It's not the way I work anyway. Um, we seem very focused on Chelsea and uh, the history and managers and change in the Premier League and the world all over. There's, there is this, as a manager, you understand very quickly that you want to try and be successful now. You can judge success on different levels. Um, all I can do is not get too far ahead of myself and work hard, work hard with what I have. And I, I mentioned on one hand trying to develop young players. I think that's really important and that's something that's going to be uh, one of my first jobs to do and I'll carry on doing it throughout my time. But at the same time, I want to work with the experienced players, players that have been here a long time, players that fill the club, players that are here who have been here one year or two years. I want players that, that whether you're 18 years of age or 32 years of age, you feel like Chelsea's your club. You feel like you're not just passing through Chelsea with a means to something else. I want people that are here that feel like Chelsea is where they want to be. I played alongside fantastic players. And I'm not just talking about uh, John Terry, who was Mr Chelsea. I'm talking about... Uh, Didier Drogba, Peter Cech, people who came from somewhere and, and felt the club. So my idea is not to think about just the 18-year-old or the 32-year-old. My idea is to work with the best players, the squad, to try and get the most out of them and, to, again, to be as competitive as it can be. Chelsea, as I say, we have to start with an intention to win. And that there's, that if I sat here and said that, then I, I don't think I should be... didn't say that, I don't think I should be here because that's how it has to be. Um, we want to be playing Champions League football year in, year out, yes, for sure. Um, and that's something that should drive us all on, myself and the players included. Um, but it's hard. I can't sit here and say what it is because I think there are a number of factors this year. Uh, yeah, we want to develop players and we want to be competitive, but it's, I'm not going to start saying league positions or whatever. Uh, again, ask me at the end of the year. There is a lot of competition at the top of the league, but um, we can lose sight. If we talk about losing Eden Hazard, one of the greatest players in the world. Yes, we can understand that. But at the same time, we also have a very strong squad of players and I, I don't want to talk down this squad because there's huge talent there. Huge talent, a team that managed to come third last year in the Premier League, managed to win the Europa League. Um, we, we haven't been decimated, we haven't lost players from, all, from everywhere. We still have a very strong squad and I feel like my job now is to try and to push on and be successful. My playing career is done, so it's great memories, great challenges along the way. Um, and I always love the challenge. Coming here 19 years ago was a challenge because I remember driving home and uh, I had the radio on and some people were questioning whether I should be here for £11 million. Um, I worked really hard to try and put that right as a player and now I'm in a position where I'm going to work really hard to be successful as a manager here. Um, and when I started out in management one year ago, I felt last year was a huge challenge because you start a game. I don't want credit for my playing career. I think it will last five minutes. Um, and I understand that it should last five minutes because I should be judged on what I do here and what I do going forward. So, yeah, the challenge is for me here at a club like Chelsea to, to show that now going forward. One of the big issues for the fans, at least, was N'Golo Kante's position. Do you have any idea where you'll play? Yeah, I do, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> you put him back in the position yeah. the year before. Uh, <laughs> no, I... Um, no, I, I, I'm not going to sit here and talk about how we're going to look next season because we're starting pre-season tomorrow and the players are coming back. I, I think, and I've said it before out loud, that uh, Kante is one of the, the greatest midfield players in, in the world. In the, the last few years, his performances are outstanding. One of the pleasures of me getting this job is that I'm allowed, able to work with players of that quality. And uh, my job would be to find the best position to get the best out of him in the team.
Um, and I'm fortunate to have a player like him, so yeah, we'll work. But I know that with the qualities, the attributes he has, and I'll try and get the most out of him. I think the integration thing, I think sometimes it's been, it can be slightly misconstrued. We have a, a first team building, we have an academy building. Uh, and the one thing I'll say is that, as I say, with the, the beauty of having Jody and Joe in there, is that we know a lot of the players from a very young age and how they are. And what we're saying is that that small path between the buildings, you can cross it, but you have to prove yourself to cross it. Um, and our eyes will be on that side of the building. And if you prove yourself that you can come over and mix it with the first team, try and uh, get yourself into the first team, get yourself training regularly, get yourself playing, then you have an opportunity to, to bridge that gap. I think that's the important thing that, that a young, any young player needs to know. And the academy have doing, been doing great work for years here. Um, so it would be a miss for me to come in and say, I'm not going to look at that. It's something that I'm going to look at. It's important for us. You worked really well with Fakeo Tamori and Mason Mount at Derby last season. Are those two players in particular part of your first team plans or will they have an, an opportunity to work their way into your first team plans? Uh, yeah, they were great for me last year, both of them, and I appreciated that. They were pivotal in the team. Um, and they come back now with a very clean slate, as does every player, young, old, been on loan at the club, whatever they are. Um, to, to prove in pre-season that they have a chance to be in the squad going forward. So they're the same. The same for Tammy Abraham, the same who I played against in the final. Players like that who have been there, been on loan, come back and know that what they can show in pre-season will give them opportunity. Now, we have a big squad. Not everybody's going to be able to stay. For the development of certain individuals, the path will be chosen, whether it's with us or the loan, as we see the loan systems work, work very well in different cases. So that's a, the next month's probably assessment to see how we, how I and we together forge the squad.